Coatings by Sandberg proudly introduces a new and innovative product, Dichroic Coated Copper Foil. The first product of its kind designed to have the film release from its copper substrate. The dichroic film removed from the copper sheet is not COE specific so that it can be used with any type of glass. The dichroic coated copper foil comes in 6x12 sheets on copper. These come sealed in an anti-static bag. When you receive the bag, it will most likely show that the dichroic has already started to release from the copper. This is very normal since what we ultimately want is for the dichroic to come off of the copper carrier. This is, video is provided to our customers to give them some insight as to different techniques that we have tried using the new dichroic coated copper foil in fusing projects. There are other projects on our website on the demo videos page. You can go to www.cbs-dichroic.com. Some of these examples are created using a deep textured glass and then pulverizing the dichroic film and pouring it down into the valleys as in these examples. In preparation, leave the bag sealed and you can drag the copper sheet over the edge of a table and this will help to facilitate the release of the uh, dichroic film from the copper sheet. You can also just crinkle it up in your hand. Uh, then cut the top of the bag off and you'll be able to shake the dichroic down into the bottom of the anti-static bag. Uh, because it is an anti-static bag, the dichroic film will not stick to the inside of it. The film itself will come off in different ways. Sometimes it will be large pieces, sometimes small pieces, sometimes strands. Here's one example uh, that we call scattering where you're going to take a base piece of glass and sprinkle some of the dichroic film directly onto that base piece of glass. You can do it with your fingers, you can dump it on however you want to apply the dichroic to that base uh, realize that you are touching the film so the film will stick uh, to your fingers as well you can move it around with a brush or however uh, you decide you want to apply the dichroic to that base piece of glass um, once you have applied all the dichroic to that piece that you want on it we're just going to take a clear cap and then fire it in the kiln and here's an example of what that would look like. Our next example is going to be pulverizing the film uh, through a screen and applying it to a base piece of glass. And to do that we're going to take some of the film and you can put it in a container where you can pulverize it with your finger. Just make sure that whatever container you put it in is anti-static so that the film doesn't stick to it. Um, since you already have an anti-static bag that the film came in, you can leave it right in the bag itself and work it down into a corner and then with your fingers you can manipulate it and pulverize it. And I found this is a really good way to grind it up into a real real fine material. And then you can pour it out right from the bag itself or if you're collecting a, a a bunch of it you can pour it back into another container to do your application. So next we're going to take another piece of black base glass and a piece of uh, drywall sandpaper. It makes a real good screen for pushing the dichroic through since it's got a rough texture to it. You can put some on top of that screen and then tap the, uh, the screen and let some of it fall through. And then if you want more to go through, you can just rub around with your finger and the coarseness of the screen will break it up into fine particles and you can spread it around onto that base piece of glass. Once you've gotten enough dichroic on there, you can again cap it with a piece of clear and fire it.
The following photo example actually shows where we pulverize the dichroic onto heavily textured glass. Now for our final example, um, we're going to actually put the dichroic right onto a kiln shelf and then put a piece of glass over the top of it so that it will fuse to that piece of clear glass and will be exposed on the underside. So we're going to start out by drawing right on the kiln shelf with a pencil the shape of the piece of glass and that's so that we can when we sprinkle our dichroic on there we can contain where we want the dichroic to go and not have that much go over the edges. Sprinkle the dichroic within that area and because the dichroic, some of it's going to be on top of other pieces of dichroic and it does not want to stick to itself, after this piece has been fired and you take it out of the kiln, you're going to need to take a scotch bright pad and just gently rub the surface of the glass and clean it to remove any of the loose dichroic. And once you're done applying the dichroic to the kiln shelf, we're going to take a piece of clear glass and set it on top of that and fire it. You can do a single layer or a double layer of clear. That's totally up to you. These are just a few examples of how we've used this with fusing. Um, you just need to play and practice and come up with your own ideas. And if you come up with anything new and unique, please share it with us at CBS. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much.